everybody y'all welcome to another episode of the modded minecraft we're on my world uh this is just a little short clip on uh how i feel about uh essential craft right now <laughs> i hope you enjoyed it uh I, i'm just so annoyed by that thing and i came across that tune and i thought what the hell but today let's talk about today what are we gonna do today if i can get really really loud well, I can watch the uh, the waveform just spike when I do that. Um, we've been we've been doing essential craft a lot because essential craft. Let me go to sleep. Essential craft takes a lot of work. Uh, probably one of the most craft intensive, time intensive mods that I have ever messed around with. Um, it's it's not something that if uh, if it was standalone like you were gonna do a standalone mod pack, uh, I don't know if I would pick this one. It would be very very difficult to uh, kind of get started with this, and uh, I'm sure that's probably the uh, mod author's intention. I'm sure he made it so it's not supposed to be easy. But uh, one of the things that I've had a lot of problems with is uh, dark. Uh, the void plates and because it's only dungeon loot and then it occurred to me well you know what we have a batania flower that that gives us dungeon loot and that's the lunium um any weary adventurer knows that dungeons can hold valuable goodies the lunium can at the use of an extreme amount of mana materialize these items and drop them in the nearby vicinity well we have a extreme amount of mana at our disposal so um, I've got the flower stuff that I need together, I think. Uh, I need one, oh, not all of those. I need one of them. I need these. Let me see. So that, that, and that, and one of those. And then we need one of these runes here. One of each of those runes. And that is what we should need for our lunium. Need a seed real quick. Throw that seed in there. Now, if we go over to our little uh, petal apothecary, we can uh, start. This should be everything. I hope. Let me see. We'll find out. I'm gonna drop. Uh, is it four of these? Okay. Okay. So we got our lunium. Uh, let me refill that real quick so I don't have to think about it next time. And so now what we need is uh, some sort of collection system. So for now, let's just get a, uh, if I can type, let's just get a chest and let's get a item collector. Get us an advanced item collector. And come on. Let's go over here, and we've got all this mana that this thing can draw from right here, so we'll just plant it. Hopefully, this will work. Let me uh, tell you what. Let's set this up first so we don't start picking up crap on our own. We'll drop a item collector on there, and let's go. This thing has about a nine range, so let's uh, let's just put everything up, and uh, let's just go max. And we'll put this thing, I hopefully this is close enough. Yeah, I think it is, because you can see it kind of drawing mana over there right now. And it probably already picked something up. Nope, nothing yet. Oh, I got it. Okay. I must have been right on top of it. So this thing, what it does is, uh, there are some items that do not, or, or will not be picked up as part of the dungeon loot. I'm really hopeful that the void plate is but uh it's gonna let, take this thing a little while to run uh, you can see right there it just picked up a ring i don't know if you saw it real quick I, I just caught it so it looks like it is picking up dungeon loot uh, i don't need the saddle now a lot of this stuff will just be able to turn into emc but what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna let this thing run for a little while and looks like we got another ring uh, also sh allow shearing various mobs for the cost of uh, shearing various mobs. That's interesting. 
Uh, I'm going to let this thing run for a little bit and uh, see what what we get. Hopefully we get some void plates in here. It's not the, the fastest thing in the world, but we should be okay on mana for this thing because we have, uh, what, 16 of the uh, Kikamuras up there uh, now. There are four separate little stations. I could probably even go one more if need oops took the lens off uh one more if need be hold on let me get my uh little wand out here yeah. so let's see what it's doing yeah it would be i don't know yeah i could probably go maybe one more maybe i don't i'm not for certain but uh, you can see it's it's doing pretty good mana wise those little bursts are taking it out of these and sending it over there to the one uh, the lunium is pulling from. Uh, every time I guess that it uh, fires off. It's definitely getting the uh, Essential Craft 3 rings. So, huh, I wonder... Since that's not dungeon loot here in this age, would we maybe have to place this in Juana? It's a heart in Juana. Uh, so I'm going to let it run and see what it does. And uh, if I don't get anything here after a little while, I may move it over to Juana. And uh, the wind timidly touches your hair. It's not creepy at all. So as soon as I can figure out if this is actually going to work, we'll be back and uh, see what, 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 what happens. Be back in a sec. I call no joy, no joy. The uh, lunium does not work. Uh, well, I mean it works, but it doesn't work uh, for what we want, and that is the void plates. Um, so it's all put away. Where did I put that thing? I don't know what I did with it, but uh, yeah, it don't work. Um, I tried it over in... Oh my god, was in that chest and get deleted? Oh shit, I hope not. Um... It didn't work. I mean, we got tons, 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 too many, actually, of those, uh, of the uh, essential craft rings and, and belts and necklaces, but absolutely nothing from Juana. And I even uh, took it over to Juana and uh, let it run there for a little bit. And again, nothing. Uh, you get pretty much just normal overworld dungeon loot you don't get any of the uh the good stuff and when i say good stuff anything from wana you know you don't get anything from wana so that's that's out so unfortunately we're still gonna have to continue farming those damn things uh well not farming but actually going out and searching for them um I've been doing pretty good with the demon guy here. Uh, be real careful with this. Every once in a while I break this and I have to remake it uh, just by clicking on it. Um, what I've noticed so far is you get three different types of souls. You get Enderman, which uh, is what he has right now. You get Wind Mages, which I just get rid of him if he does uh, Wind Mages because I can't, I can't do that. And you also get Villagers. And uh, pretty much killed all the villagers over in the uh, the nearest village uh, <laughs> already. Uh, I did keep five of them to start breeding them up. So we'll take it. Where'd he go? There it is. Uh, the number of the uh, acronite ingots you get seems to be between three and eight. That's uh, eight is the most I've got. Three is the least amount that I've gotten. So we're we're up to two stacks so far but i do need i did need do need a uh, source of uh villagers so we'll i actually built uh, my villager breeder and we'll take a look at that just as soon as we sleep um they should be in a no spawn zone but uh you know of course villagers do attract zombies so we'll run over here real quick, and and this should look for me. What the hell is he doing? How do you get out of there? 
How did you get out of your spot there, buddy? Oh, you know what it is? I bet you it's when I, uh, the, the gym helmet or gym armor has a, um, a few, oh, okay, I can't even get in the damn door. Here we go. Uh, has a few extra features other than, uh, just being able to like run fast and, and all that. Um, uh, it actually has a feature that allows you when you press, press shift and I was playing around with, it with these guys because I thought it was funny. Uh, that when you hit shift, it pushes mobs away from you. And I, I'm betting that's what happened. Somehow this guy got pushed or something. Because he should not be here. He should be in here. Stay, bad boy. Bad villager. You're lucky you're you're here or you'd, you'd be a villager soul. Um, so... Some of the other features that you know we probably haven't talked about is um, let's say you you fly and you're you're dropping, you drop pretty slow. You kind of glide. So if you are moving forward and stop flying, you glide in that direction. But if I hit shift, uh, I can immediately drop. Just rapid descent. So boom down. Uh, some of the other features, if uh, you have no, you know an open slot and you press V. Um, you now activate your gym armor, and I think if it's R, yeah, you, wherever your target cursor is, and you hit R, you set uh, there. You set a lightning strike. Um, another one, and let's go somewhere. <laughs> I accidentally hit this. It's make sure you have this turned off if you're in your base, and I'll show you why <laughs> in just a second. Thank God I wasn't in my base when I did this, but. Uh, You'll see if you hit, I think it's C, you cause an explosion around yourself, and uh, boom. Pretty big hole. Pretty destructive. But it does look like you get most of the uh, the stuff that you, you blow up, which is cool. And I'm not going to repair that. No, oh, that's a little dungeon thingy. Um, that's probably how he got out of there. So if you've never seen this villager breeder before, uh, this still kind of works in the 1.8, 1.9, but you have to provide them with food. Uh, they need food, and this will still kind of work. Kind of. Uh, it, it does not work as well as it does now, and I haven't really messed with it enough in vanilla to... Uh, to refine the uh the design but you can see we've got a breeding up in here you can see all the little babies down in there uh, you have one villager up top with um what is it 12 doors basically he's in the center uh all these villagers down here it uh, for some reason him being up there puts them in the mood and uh, they breed up and drop all the babies and uh, what you can do then is uh just send a cart down there pulls one out uh, sometimes you do get a baby, but, and shut up, shut up, just shut up. I will kill you. In fact, I'm going to kill you. Uh, so now I can, and trade with him if it's something I want to trade, which, you know, normally the first trade suck, but I can just kill him now and get the captured soul. So we do have a way of, of easily getting those souls without wiping out our, or, well, the village is already wiped out. And they have the added benefit, they also drop emeralds. Uh, okay, well this is going to be a real short episode. That's going to be it for this one. Um, I've got some stuff coming up in the next one, I think, that will be some buildy stuff. But until then, I will see y'all later. Don't forget to hit that like and share button. Uh, it definitely helps me out. Uh, really just hit that little thumbs up button. I'll take it easy. See y'all later.